Hi, I'm Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games. Each week we release a video showcasing an interesting Path of Exile character build that has been submitted by a player. This is the 8th video in the series, and demonstrates a level 67 wand marauder called Gift. The player who put together this build explains that his primary design goal was to build a character that would be good at attacking with a wand. He notes that because he's playing hardcore, this build provides great defense because he has the advantage of being able to attack from a distance while also wearing a shield, which even bow characters do not get. The primary wand attacks that this character uses are Frenzy and Power Siphon. Frenzy is linked with greater multiple projectiles and life gain on hit. This makes it useful for ramping up Frenzy charges and for gaining life quickly. Power Siphon is the main damage dealing skill and outright kills monsters that are low on life due to its culling strike property. It causes him to gain a power charge for each monster killed. With the Enduring Cry skill, he's able to max out all the different charge types relatively easily. The player who built this character comments that he enjoys playing in groups, and the Conduit Keystone was very close to his other passive skills, so he picked it up. With this Keystone passive, the aforementioned charges are shared with his party. Because wand attacks are projectiles, this build synergizes very well with the projectile weakness curse. Not only does it increase the damage that his wand attacks do, but it gives them a chance to pierce and knock enemies back. The other active skill that this build relies on in high level content is Raze Zombie, which pulls attention away from the character. The zombies also gain the benefits of his auras when nearby. He has added a minion life support gem to his Raze Zombie skill. There's also the conversion trap skill available, which is useful to throw into intense situations to gain some additional allies. Like many other marauders, this character utilizes a combination of life regeneration and the blood magic keystone passive. Blood magic reduces his mana to zero, but allows him to cast from his life pool. Due to the amount of maximum life and regeneration that these characters have, the mana costs of most skills are almost entirely negated. They basically regenerate it as fast as they're using it to attack. Like many other characters using this engine, he has several auras in the slots on his alternate weapon set. He has selected Wrath, Grace, and Anger, because they are the three auras that reserve a fixed, rather than percentage, amount of mana. Due to the Blood Magic Keystone, this reserves life instead, and he has plenty of that. Overall, he's paying about 11% of his maximum life to receive large bonuses to fire damage, lightning damage, and evasion. He still regenerates the life based on his maximum life, so even if he were reserving a third of his life, he'd probably have similar survivability. This character's passive skill build is quite interesting because it's almost entirely a depth first plunge into the tree. He picked up life and life regeneration passives on the way to blood magic. Detouring slightly for more life and life regeneration, he headed for iron grip, which applies all of his strength bonuses to his wand damage. He then grabbed even more life on the way to Conduit, which is the skill that shares all of his endurance, frenzy, and power charges with his party. He then headed north into Witch Territory, grabbing wand passives, more life, and minion instability. This keystone makes his zombies explode when they get low on life. The minion life support gem that he has associated with the skill further increases the damage these explosions deal. He's at a stage now where he can get to the big cluster of wand passives within about 4 levels, as he continues to complete the endgame content. The previous area was a little too easy, so I'm going to demonstrate this character in an endgame map area. This level 61 mountain ledge map looks difficult enough. Both of its mods make it harder. I really enjoy playing this character. I know I say that about most of the ones we feature in these videos, but this one really is a lot of fun. I'm a hardcore player myself, so I deeply appreciate the level of defensiveness that has been built into this Marauder. It's pretty hard to get close to death, and there are options like granite flasks to withstand a few seconds of pain if things go bad. Its kill speed is pretty good considering this is a level 61 map area with mods, and I'm sure a more skilled player could do better than I am in this video. The thing that I like most about this character though is its role in a party. Although I'm not demonstrating party play here, the Conduit Keystone passive means that every charge the character gets also applies to his party members. This is a big deal because the charges provide a lot of attack speed, critical strike chance, and damage reduction. While being a very capable solo character, this is one you definitely want to have in your party when doing maps in Hardcore. I imagine that it's a lot of fun to play in those situations as well. Path of Exile is currently in closed beta. If you'd like to play it before it enters open beta later this year, please buy a supporter pack from pathofexile.com. If you've built a character you'd like us to feature in one of these videos, just let us know on the forums. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and consider following us on Twitter and Facebook. Thanks very much.